Selection Channel. Welcome back to the program. A Wellington-based medical tech company, Volpara, is hoping to secure $10 million when it lists on the ASX later this year. The company recently launching a world-first cloud-based analytics product that can help with assisting breast cancer treatment decisions. For more, Sky News reporter Uma Patel spoke with Volpara's CEO, Ralph Heinen. Our software, uh, Volpara Density, actually computes the, the, the breast density in the breast and that, and that lets a radiologist decide what kind of imaging the woman should have best to detect her breast cancer. So it works off big data, I understand. Is that off uh, data that scientists have actually cultivated or is it off uh, individuals uh, who have suffered from breast cancer? Yep, so let, let, let me take a step back. So Volpara well, Density then is in use at 34 countries now around the world and we've analysed around 9 million women and got their breast density scores. So we've become very well known now for our breast density software and the ability to personalise breast cancer screening. So a woman walks in, you know, this is the best route for her. Over time then, we've, uh, customers have started to demand from us, they've said, well, you have all this information now, can you actually tell me about the population in our wider region? So, for example, can you tell me where uh, women with fatty breasts are, where women with dense breasts are? Can you tell me where the radiation doses are highest or where the breast compression is too much for certain women? And therefore, we can adjust protocols and make it a much more comfortable, safer exam as well. And that's really led us into big data. That information though, has that been provided back to you by these doctors who use your software or how do you obtain that information? Yep, so, so, so currently our software sits on, on site inside a hospital and the, the data in, in terms of our products, Valpara uh, Density, Valpara Dose and Valpara Analytics very much works on site. But we're, we're launching uh, in July this year a product called Volpara Enterprise, which is going to be a cloud-based product. We've actually teamed up with an Australian company called Yellowfin, who, are going, who produced a fantastic user interface big data system. And uh, we're going to launch it on the cloud using Yellowfin as, as the kind of front end and our data and analytics and algorithms in the background to actually analyse the data. So uh, from, from July onwards in the data, it's not going to be sitting inside the hospital, it's going to be flowing up to the cloud, re ready to be accessed by, uh, by radiology administrators and other people concerned with breast cancer screening. So if this information comes from the hospital, did you have to contact them about copyright issues or uh, you know, negotiate the rights to this information for them? Yeah, absolutely. So, so not, not so much about copyright, it's about, it's about data protection and, and private, uh, private health uh, identification information. Um, so the, the original version of Volpara uh, Enterprise, which is going to be on the cloud, is going to actually involve de-identified data. So the data will be, will, will, each site will sign a contract, but then the data that goes up into the cloud will actually be de-identified. So it can only be traced back to, to, actual, to, to a technologist or to a radiologist or, or to even to a patient by the people on the site itself. So yeah, there are co and contracts in place then to actually share the data and, actually, and then to allow us to move on from that to actually allow benchmarking between different sites. These 9 million users, how much do you expect that growth to upkick after you, uh, you know, enter this new phase? Yep, so well, we've analysed 9 million women now, mostly over the last two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're expecting to, to sort of double that by the end of next year. Yeah, we, we, are, expect, yeah, we are experiencing now very good growth globally, uh, which is a very exciting time, obviously, for the company down here in Wellington. And you are listing on the ASX soon, how, and you've had an initial sort of uh, public offering today. I understand. How do yeah. you, how do you, how's that been? Just the the first steps of it. Yeah, no, it's been a very exciting, interesting process uh, for, for us as a company based here. We're actually the, the offer actually opens today, mm -hmm. and it closes. Uh, I think formally on the 27th is the day we actually list on the ASX.